the distribution of the land found in Joshua 13 through 21. We were so blessed to hear this information uh, from uh, Minister uh, Williams on Sabbath teaching about the distribution of the land and, and how Father, those that do what is right, Father have plans for us. And this is a demonstration of how he distributed the land. In the summary, it says, After capturing the land of Canaan, Joshua and the Israelites divide up the land as an inheritance for the 12 tribes. Analysis. A large portion of the book of Joshua is devoted to the detailed description of the territorial boundaries of the 12 tribes. A few things are of note here. Number one, most of the tribes settled west of the Jordan River, but Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh are given land by Moses east of the river. The writers of Joshua are careful to note that these eastern tribes are still a part of Israel. See Joshua 22. Number two, the Levites are not given territory because Yahuwah Elohim of Israel is their inheritance. Joshua 13 verse 33. Instead, they are given cities and pasture lands distributed throughout the territories of the other tribes. Chapter 21. Not counting Levi then. The total of 12 tribes is reached by counting Ephraim and Manasseh. Both descended from Joseph as two different tribes. Joshua 14, verse 4. Joshua 17, verses 14 through 18. Number 3. Throughout the description of the territorial divisions, it is noted that many of the Canaanites continue to live in the land alongside the Israelites. Joshua 13, verses 1 through 6. Joshua 15, Verse 6 to 3, Joshua 16, verse 10, Joshua 17, verse 12 and 13. These passages stand in contrast to the description of total Israelite victory in other parts of the book. See Joshua 11, verses 16 through 20. The difference between the two sets of passages is the difference between a theological and military ideal. On the one hand, and a description of reality on the other. The reality seemed to have been that while the Israelites took over most of the land of Canaan, they never succeeded in completely pushing out the other people of the land. They therefore had to find a way to coexist with them. This reality shall be duly noted by those from any religious tradition who would claim the promised land for themselves today. Just going to share a few things and there will be a link where you can go and look at this territory and remember that you are working, we are working for the Most High. He promised us land and houses and different things that we would obey Him and obey His laws and His commandments. Okay, Joshua. It says 13 through 21, but I'm not reading all of it here. As I say, there'll be a link. The part of Canaan still unconquered. Now Joshua was old and advanced in years. And you were said to him, you are old and advanced in years and very much of the land share still remains to be possessed. This is the land that still remains. All of the regions of the Philistines and all those of the Geshurites from the Shihar, which is east of Egypt, northwards to the boundary of Ekron, it is reckoned as Canaanite. There are five rulers of the Philistines, those of Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Goth, and Ekron, and those of the Arvim in the south, all the land of the Canaanites and Merah that belongs to the Sidonians, 
to Aphek, to the boundary of the Amorites, and the land of the Gibalites, and all Lebanon towards the east from Baal Gad, below Mount Hermon to Lebohamet, all the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon to Mishrifoth, Mam, Mam, even all the Sidonians. I will myself drive them out from before the Israelites. Only allot the land of Israel for an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance to the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And I'll just read this one more. The territory east of Jordan. With the other half-tribe of Manasseh, the Reubenites and the Gadites received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond the Jordan eastwards, as Moses the servant of Yahuwah gave them, from Aurora, which is on the edge of the Wadi Arnon, and the town that is in the middle of the valley, and all the tableland from Medabar as far as Dibon, and all the cities of King Sion, of the Amorites who reign in Heshbon as far as the boundary of the Ammonites, and Gilead and the reg region of the Gezrites and the Machatites, and all Mount Hermon and all Bashan to Selica, all the kingdom of Og and Bashan who reign in Asheroth and in Idria. He alone was left of the survivors of the Rephaim. These Moses had defeated and driven out. Yet, the Israelites did not drive out the Gesserites or the Micahites, but Geser and Makath live within Israel to this day. To the tribe of Levi alone, Moses gave no inheritance. The offerings by fire to Yahuwah Elohim of Israel are their inheritance, as he said to them. Please click the link to view this awesome distribution of territories.